In this question, we have to prove the validity of the given statements by a contradiction method. So we should first assume that the statement P is not true, that is negation of P is true, and then proceeding with the question, we should arrive at some result which contradicts the hypothesis. Therefore, we conclude that negation of P is not true or P is true. So the method of contradiction says that if P is any statement, then to prove its validity, suppose negation of P is true and then arrive at a contradiction. So keeping this in mind, let's now begin with the solution. Given statement is the sum of an irrational number and a rational number is irrational. Now let if possible... Negation of P is true. That is, the sum is, is a rational number. Let x to be a rational number and square root of y and a rational number. Therefore, x plus square root of y is equal to z, where z belongs to q. Now, this implies square root of y is equal to z minus x. Now, z minus x is rational by the closure property of subtractional in rational numbers. Square root of y is an irrational number by our assumption. Square root of y equals to z minus x means that a rational number is equal to irrational number. which is not possible. Hence our supposition that negation of P is true is wrong. Hence, the statement P is true. So, this completes the first part. Let's now move on to the second part. 
Second statement is, if n is a real number with n is greater than 3, then n square is greater than 9. A contradiction method. Let's now begin with the solution. If possible, let negation of q is true, that is, For n greater than 3, n square is less than 9, where n belongs to R. Since n is greater than 3, therefore let n is equal to 3 plus x, where x belongs to n. Now, n equals to 3 plus x implies n square is equal to 9 plus 6x plus x square. Now, n square cannot be less than 9. As 6x plus x square is greater than 0 for x belonging to n. Hence, our supposition that negation of q is true is wrong. Hence, the Statement Q is true. So we have checked the validity of both the statements by the contradiction method. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.